So you've got a piece of a lot of horses. Any of them give, give you the feeling you just experienced 15 or so minutes ago? No, I mean, this is this is a special horse. Um, you know, we've been, you know, when, you, when you think about kind of going on a journey with a horse like this, uh, the partners make a, make a, a big part of it. And, uh, you know, the, the four of us uh, and our, our partners own a lot of horses together. Um, you know, we've had a lot of good ones and a lot of not good ones. And when you get one like this, you really learn to uh, enjoy it and really enjoy spending the time uh, together. And, uh, you know, Mike touched on some of it, but uh, obviously having this be the first ticket that Liz Crow uh, had ever really signed on a, on a horse on her own when she went out and, and partnered with Brad, that's, you know, really special. And we're excited to obviously be part of that. And, you know, Brad Weisbord, who's been a, you know, a big part of all of our um, our programs and is, uh, has really been incredible for us and, and uh, driven a lot of value for us over the last handful of years. So to be so involved with them and have them be part of this horse. And then you look at Brad Cox, um, it was first grade one win. And being part of that with a trainer is, is a spectacular thing. And, uh, you know, he's, he's now won six, five of them with this filly. Um, and uh, it's just been awesome to be a part of. Brad Cox and Florent Giroux are busy right now getting Arklow ready for the uh, Breeders' Cup turf in 11 minutes. Stuart Grant of the Elkstone Group, if you would, would you kind of take us through the race as you saw it? And uh, it, it seemed like the quintessential stock and pounce move. Maybe she, maybe she did the pouncing a little earlier than you expected, but uh, how did you see the race just as an owner and a fan? That, that's exactly right. You know, one of the things we learned, um, this is a great horse, but Every horse seems to have sort of made that one, you know, bit of weakness, and we find sometimes when she gets in front, um, she says, I'm in front, and doesn't try as hard as she could. Um, so it was important that she got a stalking trip, but she broke beautifully. She found her uh, her way um, to, uh, to the two-path, sat and stalked the entire way. I thought she moved a little early, but I was glad to see the 10 sort of move with her, so at least she knew, hey, someone's, you know, right on my shoulder and once she did that she did that she was able to kick it into another gear and they could have gone another eighth quarter three eighths of a mile she wasn't going to give up that lead and so um that was brad's plan uh flo executed it beautifully and uh, we just were along for a beautiful ride um, and i just want to thank my partners mike caruso who, who came out with us and saul and mike and we've been together for a long time and it was exciting that this was uh, liz's first ticket but I think she might have written a few more tickets for us this year. <laughs> it certainly sounds like that. Uh, Mike Caruso, uh, the, uh, the Oaks Breeders' Cup Distaff Double is not one that's often completed. Uh, it was two years ago by Untappable, uh, 12 years before that, a shadow. Uh, what's it like knocking off two storied classic races like that? Well, it, this is. It, it can't get more exciting than this, but I tell people, you can't really open a 300 off bottle of wine and drink it by yourself. It's just not a lot of fun. So unless you have partners, and I met Mike, and then through Mike, I met Stu and Sal. And the truth is, uh, before I met Mike Dub and these guys, the closest I ever came to grave one winter was I stepped in some manure <laughs> outside of the barn, and that's the closest I ever got. With these guys, excuse me, with these guys, they're just they're just great, and they're just fun to win with, and they're fun to be with. And you know, we had a couple, we barely, we got beat on a couple today, but we're here, and we're racing for in the big races, and I never had that in 38 years of racing. It's only since I met these guys, and Mike was right. We don't just like each other, we love each other. Thank you. All right, terrific. Uh, questions from the room here. We have a, a mic, and we'll start with Frank. Mike, you talked about how Brad has been so meticulous with this horse. What has made him such a good fit for this horse? 